Hi guys, Peter Finch here down the Quest Golf Academy and it's the next video in the Golf Along series. And what we're going to be doing here is rounding up the main points that we spoke about moving into impact, which is obviously the most important part of the swing. Now we've covered lots of different things, we're talking about body movements, about hip turns, about weight transfers and body pressure, loads of different aspects. But what we're going to do here is try and round it up into one usable drill that you can do at home or at the driving range. Now what we're not going to include here is how you can really grind in and practice your body, so your upper body and your hip movements coming into impact. Now that was covered in the first video of this series, so please go check it out now. That is something that you can do at home, at the range, but that's really to get those feelings grained in. This is going to be much more practical in actually hitting shots. So the combination of drills that we're going to use. So you're going to need a chair or a golf bag which is going to sit as you get yourself set up just back and left of the hip. Because what this is all about is turning through, making sure that your hip can rest against it at the point of impact. So you need about a hand's width in between your left backside and the chair. The second thing that we're going to pull in is the smash bag. Now again, you can do this drill at home or at the driving range. But if you can do it at home first before you take it to the range, it probably wouldn't be useful. So I'm going to get myself set up. Again, I'm going to use the back of the smash bag to where my ball position will normally be. I've got a 7 iron here. And again, use the smash bag if you're practicing your iron swing. You can still use this drill for the driver, but then don't use the smash bag. Because this is all about striking down and through, not up and through as it is with the driver. So getting it set up. So it's just in front of centre. I'm going to get the chair. So it's in position just that hands width behind my left foot. And then what I'm going to be doing is taking it up to the top of the swing. I'm going to get my hip bumping left, weight going into my heel. So I manage to hit this chair. I'm going to focus on shallowing the hands and then turning into impact with my hands ahead. Now using this drill, it really hammers home a lot of the key aspects of what we've talked about. Body turns, weight transfer, how to move your hips, how not to early extend as you start to hit into the ball. So as you've got yourself set up, do three or four of these. Remember, not a full pace into the smash bike. You only want to be going 20 to 30%. So to there, really working it in, just tapping that bag away, having a few strikes like this. Now at home, do this as many times as you want. But then at the range, if you can take that smash bike away, drag a ball into play here, get yourself set up again, that chair, just making sure that hands width away, getting set up. And we're going to try and replicate those moves moving on to the full shot. And swinging through. Right guys, so that is the best way to bring all those different aspects together into one drill. But by all means, go and work on the alignment stick drill with the shoulders and the hips. Work on the smash bag drill on its own. Really mould these things together. But this is the best way to bring everything together in a very succinct combination. So guys, thank you so, so much for watching and following this Golf Along series. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already so you don't miss any more of the videos. Comment below, let me know what you think. Make sure that you check me out on my other social media linked in the description below and download the practice sheet so you can follow along. So guys, Thanks for watching, and we'll see you down here next time.